Hi everyone, uh, long time no see. I've been away for um, a couple of months now, I think. So to summarize everything that uh, has happened during the summer, I left my job, I left my apartment, um, and I am now uh, rethinking uh, my future in a way and I've started to read again and actually finish books. I thought I would start today um, restart uh, my channel and uh, my reviews with this book uh, called A Whole Life by Robert C. Taylor. C. Taylor. I have no idea how to pronounce that name. So Robert C. Taylor, C. Taylor is an Austrian uh, writer uh, he's also a scriptwriter and an actor. I could see on the famous uh, French Wikipedia that he acted in one Italian movie. Yay! And um, and he's written a couple of, uh, of books and, and I don't know if they're plays or whatever. And uh, only his last two books have been translated in English and French. So there is this one, A Whole Life, which was published in uh, 2015. Um, the original title is, and I'm going to read it because I am not very good with German, Ein ganzes Leben? Yes. Um, so 2015, and in 2012 uh, there was a Der Trafikant. Uh, translated into the tobacconists in, in, in French too it's called the le, le, le tabac or something like that or le trafiquant tabac the, the tobacco um, trafficker I couldn't find anything about that author like a lot or anything he was born in 1966 so he would be 50 years old uh, nowadays but I couldn't find anything of, uh, of importance on the internet, not that it really matters to me because I usually don't really care about the author's life and um, whereabouts. So um, yeah, so it's it's fine, but I know that sometimes um, people add some information about the author. Um, this one, this, this book was uh, nominated for the Man Booker Prize um, for this year, 2016. So, so that's something, and uh, and yeah, this book is the epitome of a simple book um, recounting the facts of a very very simple life. Uh, it's a very <clears throat> quiet book. I use that word uh, a lot uh, nowadays to describe uh, books. I, I seem to. Uh, to be drawn towards those very simple stories where <clears throat> nothing much happens but that are written so beautifully that you just uh, get mesmerized by the simplicity of the protagonists. It's the story of Andreas, uh, an Austrian man living in the Alps. Uh, right from the beginning we know what kind of man he is because he's rescuing a man and He's bringing him into the, the nearby village, and that's where he uh, he meets his the love of his, of his life, um, another the, another very simple woman. And um, at the beginning, there's this the, the most beautiful and romantic um, declaration of love between those two. I will not say what it is because. It's my favorite part from the book, and uh, it's it's very beautiful. I am not a romantic person at all, and I, I still I was touched and moved by um, by this part of the of the book. Um, he will not live his life with that woman. The the mountain actually where he where he lives, where he makes his life, will actually take his his wife from him in a way. Uh, but we will see him actually like, go from jobs to, to other jobs and uh, we see the, the, the changes in the, in the society and uh, the culture and the people around him and he's... I wouldn't use the word adapting but he's um, he's finding a way to, to make a living and to, to still be relevant in that world in his own way. Um, 
so so that's what we actually follow during the book his uh, his whole life so you can see that there are events that are a little more important than others um, like the the, the the death of his uh, of his wife um, but still it's a uh, it's it, it's not a book like that is action-packed um, the book is actually written just like the the Andreas life it's it's very simple um, there, there's there are no description Andreas is a man of a, of a few words so there are very few words to describe things and I think it's it's more coherent with the the story to have a style like that I think to have like very long descriptions and tons of adverbs and adjectives would have just been um, completely out of character now it's like the book reflects the style of the writing reflects the the the, the, the protagonist of, uh, of the book and I don't know if the author is always uses this style. I haven't read the Der Trafikant, the Tobacconist. I really want to read it. Uh, for my Montreal friends, it is available at the Bibliothèque Nationale du Québec in French. Um, but I'm sure it's super easy to find. And now that it's been nominated for um, a Man Booker Prize, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this one and the other one, the previous one, will be easily available uh, to us. So I don't know if the author always has this very simple, um, like, right to the essential uh, type of uh, writing. And um, but yeah, but for this book particularly, it was it was a very interesting uh, style. Another thing that caught my attention is that there are no chapters. It's usually something that I dislike. I, I enjoy uh, finishing or like stopping my reading at, at a chapter and, and, and getting on with like a, a new thing, with a new chapter. Um, I, I really like that. I, I hate stopping a book like between like two paragraphs or something like that. I hate it. Um, so there are no chapters, but again, I think to to describe the the whole life of a, of a person for that continuity and that coherence, I think that having no chapters is actually a very logical thing. Um, yes, we have chapters in our lives. That's an expression that we use, but it is one whole thing. Um, so I felt that was an, an interesting thing as well. So again, I'm gonna go back to that word, quiet. Um, it is a very quiet book. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was very interesting to see what kind of changes people living in the Alps could have seen at that, at that moment and how their lives were changed and how they, they adapted to this um, to the new situation of globalization and internet and blah blah blah. Um, so I really really liked it. I understand why it was nominated. I haven't read all the other books of course but uh, yeah so really really glad. I am going to read um, Der Trafikant. If you have read Der Trafikant, The Tobacconist or this one please leave a comment down below. Um, Especially for all those questions that I had, like, is this a the personal style of the author? Was this a particular choice for this one? The the, the, the no chapter thing, the the simplicity of the writing and all that. So if you know if you've read uh, something else from this uh, author, please uh, let me know. And uh, I hope to see you sooner than um, than I than like I've seen you until now. That sort of made sense. So again, thank you and have a nice day. Ciao.